But you know, I'm not really that pissed. Because I need a friend along the way. And that's the only thing that really matters. Uh, okay. Woo! Yeah, Gorkon! Can't wait for next year. Yeah! Hi, I'm Timmy, and this is how I screwed it all up. So you see, in this situation, you know, I was right off the heels of this crazy rock, paper, scissors win, right? But you know, I think I took it a little too far. Like, like who, who the guy, who, who the hell th does this guy think he is? He is not him. This guy is not him right now. Bro, but he's not Bully McGuire. Like, he's doing the whole, like, Bully McGuire, like, like thing, but like, dude, he's not him. He, he's literally not him. Like I don't know what 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 this dude was on. It's literally not me. I'm Timmy, but that that's the that's the, I, I'm a new. I that was just a phase, you know. Like I'm I'm not this guy anymore. Like look at this guy. That those dance moves are literally Quinn's. Like I, like what is this guy on? What is this guy on? But but uh, yeah. That's besides the point. The main thing is that you you, you know I screwed up. Uh, like like right here. Yeah. What's up? Wait, so, so you're like a professional filmmaking guy? Okay, okay. So then what you offer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. So what you're saying is that if I give you a Doricon ticket, you're gonna give me this huge filmmaking gig, and, and that's it? Do I do I get no other information? Oh my shoot, it's with cameraman one? Well you should have told me earlier. Alright, bet. Alright, I'm on that, I'm on that. You don't even know. I'm on that. I'm I will get you that ticket. I don't care what it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jack, what you doing? Hmm? Oh, well, you know, this guy, like this, this filmmaker dude, he's like giving me this huge gig. I just need to give him like, it's like 20 bucks. And it's like, I, I'll, hey, I'll give you back the, the 20 bucks. But I'm, I might need to take out the Doricon statue. It has nothing to do with D Doricon. I just want to keep that in mind. But, uh, uh yeah. Okay, well, whatever you say, man. But hey, remember, DoorCon is a priority this year, all right? We can't have a mess up like last year. I mean, for crying out loud, it starts in two days on July 1st. So, you know, I know we're prepared, but we just gotta make sure we stay on our toes, you know? You never know what's gonna happen. <sighs> hey, think about it this way. We've been standing up for months. We got a whole stash of money just to go to DoorCon. Like, I think, I think we got this in the bag. I think we're okay. Guys, guys, guys. <sighs> we're kinda screwed. Never mind. Shoot. Damn, that does kind of suck. Guys, come on, we're better than this. Wait, hold on, what about that box? Is there any clues on it? I mean, what do you think? You're gonna solve the case of just the box? Ugh. I mean, that doesn't matter any. The main thing is that we're out of money. We're $80 store. It's 20 bucks per ticket. So we somehow have to make $80 before DoraCon even starts. How the hell are we gonna do that? I felt kind of bad though. So here's an extra bill. Wait. It's 20 bucks per ticket, so how the hell are we gonna do that? Hey, what's so interesting about that box over there? Nothing. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Oh, I got it. What if we just sell doorknob NFTs? There you go. We could make a ton of money doing that. Uh, that could be fun. Nah. Money for door gun tickets? Mm. Oh, what about a merch store? Merch, a merch store would be so fun. Think of we call it just another merch store. We can sell like hats, shirts, more hats. Oh no, anything but that. I don't want to be a sellout. That's terrible. Like if we made a hat. Does that mean that this hat is gonna be replaced with like, the other hat? Come on, you would look great in a hat. It'd be like, it'd be like just another movie studio. It'd be like the black and then like the green and then it'd like, be like cool product placement. Like, wouldn't that be sick? Okay, we could do a robbery, but eh, seeing how that whole Ohio thing went down, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, he got freaking traumatized by those crime fellas. Crime guys, crime dudes. So I think I think just doing like the, the doorknob thing or, or the merch it would just be, you know, like like a better solution. Fine. Oh, okay, yeah, you yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, I, yeah. You'll make a good point, I guess. Hey, 
I got you covered. As Mr. Dorna Medity creator himself, I got this in the bag. Okay. I guess we're gonna sell doorknob NFTs now. Yeah. All right, cool. I, I like the sound of this. Um, even though we may have our dis differences over this very particular doorknob NFT situation, um, I think we can figure this out. Just um, just give me one sec. I just gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, whatever. You do you, man. I mean, I feel like there's like there's better ways we could make money. I don't know. Maybe we could get jobs. Oh, okay, scratch that. But like, still though. I mean, if you want to make a really good doorknob NFT, I think the, the key is that you just need like a really good PNG of a doorknob. Damn, why did he have such a punchable face? <laughs> Damn, why is bro giving me that death stare? Damn, is this worth it? Yeah, it's worth it.